Um, so we will have this is uh, this is wrong because it's not twenty. It's twenty twenty, of course, right? But we have um, you know full outline, right? A research outline. These are the paragraphs, if that makes sense. Like Roman numeral one is paragraph one. Roman numeral two is paragraph two. Um, and how would I set this up? Like you want to make sure I don't have a single question about your topic, right? Um, so maybe my topic sentence for the mother and Lee um, topic would be that um, she was persecuted greatly, um, even though she was the founder of this religion. Um, and then I have topic sentences that aren't cited, right? Um, you don't have to have a thesis, but I just did because I want to show off here. And if I have an A, I need a B. If I have a 1, I have to have a 2, okay? I need to introduce my source one time. Just one time introduce your source. According to the book, italicize the title, right? By D Diana Van Kolken, then I have my source information, right? Um, and I might even, right here under after work, I'd say Van Kolken last name and the page number, okay? Um, and then, of course, at the end of the paragraph, I have to have another in-text citation because if I don't have that here, that is plagiarized. Everything should be summarized and paraphrased. We should not quote. If you need to quote, come see me and I'll try to talk you down from it doing it. Unless you're maybe like music or something or like you have a quote from Mother Anley that you need, try not to quote. Um, paragraph two. Um, so maybe paragraph one is about the philosophy of the food, the philosophy of Mother Anne Lee, the philosophy behind their furniture. Leaves no stone unturned in your research. I shouldn't have any questions coming up. Will a lot of your topics um, intertwine? Absolutely. Um, maybe paragraph three is about the traditions they had. Maybe paragraph three, if I'm doing food, is when did they have food? What prayers did they say? Where in their... Um, houses did they have food did they have communal food like who cooked the food right um like this is just all very very important right maybe paragraph the last paragraph is their legacy can you have five paragraphs instead of four absolutely your information will dictate what you actually need oh darn the bell rang this should be two and a half pages and that includes the work cited page your research should go on to like two pages um, and should go on to about a third page because it's double space. And you want to cover for the heading. The heading is really big. So I need to say two full pages. And then right here, um, this just shows you like, okay, this is a topic sentence, right? Let's pretend this is paragraph one. It should be double space. Um, but definitely I need to introduce articles with quotes around the article titles. I need to have an author or a publisher. If I have a publisher, it is italicized. Um, finally, at the end of your paragraph, you would either have a author's last name, this is for an article title on the internet, or an article title in quotes. Article titles are capitalized, so make sure you have that, okay? Here's just like some information that shows you, you can pause this if you want to, but it basically talks about how in-text citation should be formatted for a book, for an article title without an author, and this is for an article title with an author. Works cited pages. Um, hopefully, this is in MLA 8 format. But if you're citing a book, um, actually, I believe they got rid of the publisher. So go on to the main shaker page where I've posted like all the books, the book citations, and just snag one off of there. Don't do the book citation yourself because you don't have a lot of time, right? So we're working on this uh, Thursday and Friday in class. Then Monday, you can come back in work on your visual aid with your partner so that way like Monday you guys can bring something like a poster I don't know what you guys want to make but um, that would be kind of our plan for the rest of the week and when are we going to present Tuesday winter chapters one and two do they're due um, Friday but you know I won't have time to quiz you on them you know so just make sure that they're done for sure by Monday um, and I think you have like a reading for Monday too so just check the calendar if you don't know where to check the calendar let's just show you real fast go to canvas right um, and then check under modules and then this is kind of weird but I just did a main shaker page where you guys can find everything I'll start posting like where you're going to turn in things very soon. But again, this is where you get those works cited entries for the book. Um, and 
the assignment guidelines I just showed you, but I'll make sure that link works. Here's a rubric. Here's outline format. Here's another example of an outline. They, um, my outlines kind of have some gibberish in them, but they show you how to tab over to get the next Roman numeral or shift and tab will take you back. Okay. One other thing, I know it seems like a lot. You guys have an Ed puzzle to do. It is very important. Thank you so much for watching that. Um, and then this was Monday. If you guys are quarantined and you need to figure out what in the world is going on, please watch this video before you come ask me questions. Okay. Thanks for watching again.